Hello YouTube, what's really good? My name's Color, and I'm back today with the 21st episode of my Pokemon Moon Let's Play. And if you weren't here for the last episode, I probably wouldn't fault you for that because it was kind of a surprise because no one knew when I was going to upload anything because I've been missing forever. But uh, <laughs> if you didn't see it, there's a link in the description down below. The episode actually kind of progressed the story, but I was more in the mood of like, yeah, I'm going to talk about my life and what I've been doing and not read all of these... Uh, all of these cutscenes, so I I, uh, I did that a little bit, but um, it's still it's still valuable. It's still very valuable information. So um, last episode we made our way to an island, Ula Ula. That's it, right? Ula Ula Island, M Mali City, and Ula Ula Island. And I don't really know what we're going to be doing today. Uh, our team is the same as it was last episode with the changes made. Oh, but let me teach uh, before before I do anything else, because I was complaining last episode about how um. Caesar's level up moveset is just legitimate trash. And we got the TM for Psychic randomly just for going to Aether Paradise. So that's mega helpful. Okay. Uh, what's gonna be, what's gonna be, uh, what's gonna be, uh, Quash? Quash is interesting and niche at best in doubles and does absolutely nothing in single battles. I don't know whether or not I'm going to continue to use Caesar, but I really want to use him. Oh man, that's that's upsetting that uh, Cubone cannot learn Shadow Claw. That's the only reason I bought it, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think there's uh, Rock Tomb. I wanted to teach Rock Tomb to Cubone. Just because uh, it's better than False Swipe. It's really good that Cubone already knows Boomerang, though. So we have that. We have that going in our favor. Also, uh, this is sort of my uh, my second time recording with a new setup. If you don't know about this, I talked about it in my last episode and like what exactly is going on and why everything's so different now. So if you want to know about that, just go watch the beginning of that episode. You should watch the whole thing realistically because why wouldn't you? It would offend me if you didn't want to watch it for whatever reason. All right, what TMs can we get here? Yo, Roost is power. Oh, we have no money. Oh, it's because I was an idiot last episode. Oh, I can buy Swords Dance. Game over. Man, these are good TMs. These are power TMs, and I have no money. Can I sell something? Oh, you have a Sparkling Z Crystal. You cleared Mallow's Trial. Congratulations. Now you can purchase more items. So, welcome to the Pokemon. I guess that's something new. What What can we potion? potion? What can we potion? Uh, I think we can... I don't know if we could get Ultra Balls before. Um... I need, I need money. Can we make some money real quick before we do whatever it is we're gonna do this episode? I, I honestly don't know. Okay, well, I don't need this. Yep, that, that did, that did a, a great service to me getting money. <laughs> All right, this Omulent coin's going on someone. This Omulent coin is going on someone. No, it's not, because then that would take away from me training that, or, not training, but I want to train up Caroline specifically, and if I give Caroline the Amulet coin, she's going to suck. So, <laughs> I guess we're just going to have a week, or not a week, we're just going to be poor for a while, but I'll go back and buy TMs later. Alright, so I don't know, we're headed to the garden to meet the professor currently, and I don't know what he's going to want to talk to us about. The last time I spoke with someone in a garden, it was not a good time. That's, that's my real life experience in gardens. <laughs> I heard that they serve tea somewhere in Molly Garden. I'll start my search in the bridge here. Why don't you start around the edge of the garden? Yeah, you, why would you go to the center directly, dum-dum? It's always the edge of the garden. You never you never talk about your feelings on Oh, there's grass here. Maybe we can catch maybe we can catch a, a new squad member. Like I said in the last episode, I'm not locked into anyone. That's not true. I'm locked into a few people. I'm locked into a few people. But I'm not hard locked into all of them. I might love Caroline once she evolves and be hard locked into her, but right now I'm not I'm not I'm not super locked in. Is this headbutt gonna Oko? Yo, these wild Pokemon are level twenty-four. That's a problem. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That did a lot of damage. Oh, we lose this damage rate so hard. Also, I'm pretty sure I noticed in the last episode that when I use this, when I drink out of this mug, uh, when I was editing at least, I'm pretty sure that it kind of like turns invisible on the layout, so I'm sorry for that. I'm, I'm definitely still gonna drink out of it right now because it's the mug that I have in front of me. But if it's annoying you that you can sometimes see through it to my layout, I just want to apologize, even though you know it's lies. 
I didn't make up that rhyme myself. Thank Eminem for that one. Okay, so we're gonna live this a lot. When do you, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Like, half my team's holding leftovers right now. I, I really don't want to talk about it. We don't need to, we don't need to know any more about it than half my team's holding leftovers. <laughs> I explained it in the last episode, but if you don't know where to find a plethora of leftovers at in this game, now's, now's a good chance to find out. I just keep, I keep, uh, I keep pointing towards the last episode, because this is my second episode that I've recorded in a while, and I want to make sure that people kind of, like, know that I'm putting videos out again. I, I, I'm talking like I was gone for months. It was, it was uh, I think, a little over a week, maybe, and it was the holidays, so I think it was kind of to be expected. It's just not what I expected in my own real life. What is this little... The water sure is clear here, huh? I wonder if Pokemon are all hiding in the shadows. What? Can I... I'm super confused. How's this little dude stopping me from moving? What Pokemon? Can we catch anything cool in here, though? Is there any really cool encounters in, uh... What, what, what garden are we in? The Molly Garden? Molly? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Like, I just popped a Molly? <laughs> I just popped a Molly! That's the only line of that song I can sing. So, there's that. Google that one, kids. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright. So, something that I wanted to talk about last episode, but I kind of just completely forgot, because I got, I, I don't want to say confused, but like, caught up in getting caught up, was, uh, I, okay, so I do this thing, right, where I, anytime I see a Warp Tour compilation CD, and if you don't know what Warp Tour is, it's basically... Why couldn't I have postponed this cutscene until I told my story? I knew it was about to trigger a cutscene. I should have told my story first. Hold that thought. Warp Tour CDs. Remind me if I forget. Remind me. Oh, Professor Kakui. Hey there. What's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Did something big happen? Only something amazing. Professor, Professor, you gotta hear this. The Ultra Wormhole opened up, like, right in front of us, and there was there really are Ultra Beasts in there. You gotta tell Professor Burn it, too. Whew! You gotta see the Ultra Wormhole and the Ultra Beast? That is amazing. Oh, yeah. Sounds like an even better reason to train hard. Yeah, on your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll be able to get through the Ultra Wormhole. Alright, your next trial is on Mount Hokulani. Mount Hokulani. <laughs> you can catch the bus up there. Just head to the bus stop on Route 10, yeah? You guys head there without me, Professor. I've got a hot date with a Malsada shop. Yo, dude, this guy's always eating. Like, low-key, this dude only eats. Hey, Vivid, did you know? Of course. I haven't even finished the question yet. There's an observatory on Mount H Hokulana. And do you know what you do in an observatory? Hope you do, because I sure as heck don't. Now I'm out. Deuces. Do, do, bye. bye. Bye, little dude. Alright, there was a Pokeball up here. Um, okay, so back to talking about the more important things in life, other than what uh, whatever story progression is happening here. Um, when, okay, so whenever I see these like Warped Tour compilation CDs, if you don't know what Warped Tour is, it's like this like tour where all of these... I don't really know how to describe... The, the genre used to be what I would consider like heavy slash hard, like post-hardcore slash pop punk bands and now it's like the genre classification for bands that get included on warp tour is so wide that I, I feel like you can't say like oh this is i go you know like i only like this specific genre of music i'm going to warp tour anyways they they make these compilation cds that include all the bands that play on warp tour or not all of them but like a, a like a pretty decent selection of them and i always buy it because it's always 50 songs and it's like a seven dollar cd so i bought one and I have been jamming the ever-living crap out of two bands on it. And one of them is State Champs. And the other one is Water Parks. Uh, if you haven't heard of either of those, this is just like, I, I don't know these dudes. But this is just a plug for those two bands. State Champs is kind of like the most generic pop punk you'll ever hear in the best way possible. And Water Parks is kind of like the exact opposite. They're 
I don't know how to describe them, but I watched an interview of them and they were telling a story about how they opened for Aaron Carter. <laughs> if that gives you any indication of what they sound like, it doesn't, because they're like a weird, uh, kind of like a weird boy band meets rock, almost. The moral of the story is, those are the two bands that I have been sort of wearing out on my Spotify playlist over the last few days. And if you have, if you know either of those bands and you know other bands that I would like based on that, please let me know because um, I've just been listening to whatever State Champs new CD is, I don't know what it's called, and then Water Parks, or not new, but newer, and then Water Parks released a CD this year, but I haven't been listening to that, I've been listening to an old EP called Cluster, it's only like six songs, but it's my favorite thing by them, 100%. So, you know, just... uh. If you want to know what kind of music I listen to, go go listen to that, and then tell me what I should listen to based on that. Please. That's what I want in my life. So I wonder, I don't think we're going to be able to like complete a challenge in this episode, right? Like, I'm just kind of running around aimlessly. Can we get away safely? All right, cool. All right, this is not the place to train up Cubone. I want to see if we can get Cubone to evolve in this episode, because I know Cubone does not evolve unless it's nighttime. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Cubone won't evolve into an Alolan Marowak unless it's nighttime, and it's currently nighttime in this game, which is ridiculous, because it's super morning time in my real life. In my real life experience, like when I wake up in the real world, it's, it's well, I guess probably not morning time, it's probably around lunchtime. I, I, I lose track of time, like I wake up and I play Super Mario Run for however long before I get extremely angry in bed. This is uh, my, my routine for the last few days, mind you. Super Mario runs relatively new. <laughs> and then I, I don't eat. And then I record an episode. And then I eat. <laughs> Alright, so... Ooh, we haven't seen Bay in a while. Sup, Shoute? Vivid, would, would you mind if I asked you something? Pal! You want to go to the ruins? How, how did you know I want to take Nebi to visit the Ula Ula ruins, but they're located deep in a large desert? I don't want to ask that much of you. Right now, I'm planning to visit Molly Library. There's a book I want to look at there. Maybe you will even be willing to help me? I know that Molly Library is here within the city of Molly somewhere. I should even be able to find it. I can do this. BOW! Alright, so I know I asked for this last episode. But please remember, if, you, if, if like the audio sounds, because I know the audio is going to sound different, and 100% is, but I think it's going to sound more like butter, like more great. But if for some reason things, you don't like the, the new upgrades, the new things, the lighting 100% is better. I think there's kind of like no arguing about that. I think the only thing that may be, yo, what's going on? I, oh, it's the, uh, this dude was, this dude was spoiled. It's a lowland, a lowland oak. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, are you nice? Are you nice? I can't do an oak voice. What am I trying to do? Um, no. <laughs> are you feeling nice and comfy in that Pokedex of yours? Never battles. Oh, well, hello there. Well, good to meet you. I'm Oak, Samson Oak. I'm a professor, re I'm a Pokemon researcher, and I'm looking into the regional variants found around here. And you must be vivid, huh? Young Kukui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you be sure to help this fine young boy on his trip around the islands, all right? <laughs> Do you think you're talking to Of course I'm doing that. And you must be vivid. I'll be trusting you keep Rotom safe as well. The young fellow from Kalos who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it. And as much as I love and care as any as much love and care as any parent. I'll be in the Molly Library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat any time. If you're ever having trouble finding the library, just follow the Black Brick Road. Follow the Black Brick Road. Follow the Black Brick Road. Follow, 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 follow the Black Is this like the yo, Alolan Wizard of Oz confirmed? Alolan Wizard of Oz confirmed for Pokemon Stars. It's gonna be great. It's uh where they get they don't get stranded in Oz, they get stranded in Alolaz. I should I should end myself right now. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what was I talking about? I was talking about something. I don't want to follow the Black Brick Road. I'll follow the Black Brick Road one time. One time, Oak. I'm assuming this is now... Oh, this is where we need to be. Okay, we got the flag. We found the flag. We found the flag. Oh, I don't want to help Lily. She's so helpless. She just used her... She uses her wily female charms to seduce me into doing whatever she wants. Vivid, 
I'm sorry I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop, and then I saw this outfit, and they said it was the last one they had in stock, so I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it, haha. <laughs> but the woman working in the store did tell me where to find the library, so I guess you could say it was all for the best. The library is actually right past the apparel store if you just kept going. Uh-oh. Charge him up. Charge him up. Nah! Eek! Vivid, <clears throat> it's been a while, friend. Looks like your old island challenge is coming along favorably. That must be pleasing to Tapu. So, Vivid, who might this be? Oh, hello. My name my name is Lily. My, my apologies if Mudsdale spoke to you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually uh, studying the Tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you the way whenever you'd like to go. My Mudsdale here is sturdy as all get out, and she can carry too easily. Th thank you for the offer. Alright. Now what? Now we just kind of stare at each other awkwardly, and then everybody walks away. God, Mudsdale's tail is weird. Shall we check out the Molly Library first, though, since we're here? Yeah, I, I hope so. Man, can anything cool happen in this episode? That's what I want to know. Something cool needs to happen immediately. The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. I'm still gonna catch Olunala. Didn't Lily say she'll be upstairs or am I just hearing things? Ugh. Let's see. Meow! All right. Talk to me. This book for Pokemon. Oh, what up, Oak? Alola, young Vivid. Since you're out and exploring on your island challenge, you must already know about regional variants, don't you? Yeah, I do. So don't explain them to me. Just as I would have expected. Yes, regional variants. They will arise when an influence of a particular region cause a Pokemon's physical aspect and event, even type, to change. If you have caught one of the local Persians, the regional variants, I would quite like to see it. I wonder what he gives us. Uh... So Lily's upstairs. I'm assuming we probably need to go up there to trigger another cutscene. I was talking about something before I ran into Oak. That happens to me relatively frequently. Like, I have a thought and I'm on a tangent, and then it just disappears. Like, my brain falls out of my head, and I start reading text. <laughs> it must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure I'll be able to take it out of the library. Oh, good. Another character that advances the plot just happens to be in here. That's how normal life works. Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Oh, oh, of course. I can't do voices for all these people, I just can't. Well, it's it's titled The Light of Alola. I'll just, uh, I'll read it aloud, shall I? No. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had, where had been none. A single beast appeared in it, and its name, it was named the beast that calls the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that stole all heaven's light. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end, they lost the fight. Then did the beast that brings the dark cast its pall? That's a word I don't know. Okay, cool. Paul. I mean... It could be pale. It's not pale. Pa pal. Pal. What a pal. Cast its pal <laughs> on the line of kings. So would the beast that had won mark the path for all such finished things? Beast of sun and beast of moon. Through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir and a Lola born the island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient king sang their thanks for Lunala with song of flute. Two tones rang across their altar, a perfect pair even after mute. Yo, bars. We have, uh, this was the sickest bars of 2016. Confirmed. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. Well, I mean, yes, it is, but it, when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, it belonged to my dad. I don't, I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of other old stories about Alola too, you interested? 
Well, well, that would be wonderful. I'd be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I know why you come to Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Vivid? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by bus on Route 10. Okay, so we know it's electric type. So we picked up Cubone at just the right time. All right, let's deuce out of here and let's head to uh, Route 10, I suppose. I want, I, I kind of want a Toga to Mario. I wonder, if, since we're going to the Electro Type trial, I'm assuming we catch Toga to Mario. What was I talking about before I ran into Alolan Oak? I don't remember. I know I was talking about music, and I wanted you to recommend music for me. But then what was I saying? Oh man, I don't have, I don't have the, I don't have the short term memory for this game. All right, so the last thing I want to keep running into in my life is uh, Trumbeaks. That's the absolute last thing I want to keep running into in my life. Yo, but can we can we get a level off this? This rock tomb. Okay, so this thing knows roost. Yeah. Okay, that's good. It's good damage. Now we're all at speed, probably. Right? Excuse me. Don't hold a citrus berry randomly. Competitive Trumbeak. Over here. Alright, cool. Alright. Ooh, level. Level of a level. Alright, we're we're evolving Cubone in this episode. That's that's our that's our number one goal. Something cool has to happen. I know this we we're supposed to go to route ten, right? You are supposed to go to route ten and I'm on route eleven. Does this person want to square up or no? Young boy with the island challenge Your Pokemon are looking a bit tired. Oh thank you. Thank you for uh making this game easier for me. <laughs> For lack of a better terminology. Do you want to square up? I've evolved from a swimmer, so I'm a hiker who can swim. Just like me, some Pokemon get another type by evolving. Alright, well, don't be so deep next time. That was too deep. Three deep, five me, honestly. Oh, there's a TM up here. Alright, what do we got? Hopefully it's, uh... Well, never mind. I was going to say hopefully it's... I don't know. Dragon Blitz Blast Beam. It's a new move. It was introduced in Sun and Moon, I promise. So we have a double battle. Well, let's just square up. Square up. Square up, nerds. Testing out results of one's training is the utmost importance. I'm confident in the training I've done with my Pokemon. Check it out. So we have a toddler and, like, a like a, another child. We have two children, and they're trying to talk to me about training and Pokemon. Athletic Sibs. We got them Athletic Sibs up in here. Hurtier and Fletchender. Alright, that's a that's a pair. That's a pair. Does this Fletchender have uh Gell Wings? Gell Wings holding a Z crystal? This is not really the best lead for this at all, even a little bit. Yo, we just got double we or not double intimidated, but we just got intimidated. That's upsetting. Okay, so let's just boomerang this Hurtier and I just want to put this Fletchender in the ground. If this isn't one shot, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I keep getting super upset at how not one-shotty Bell is being. I want Bell to one-shot things with Water-type moves, not like seven-shot them. Bell will get a level out of this battle, though, and that's what's really important here. My character looks super matchy, except for his hat now. His hat kind of, it's, it's contrasty, though, you know? I'm, uh, I'm in vivid color, my character dresses in vivid colors. <laughs> it all works out in the end. The Z-Move animations are sick, though. Oh, that one-shot. Thank God. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, when does Bell earn Liquidation? That's what's really important here. Also, when do we get the TM for Leech Life? I know that's a TM in this game. Should Caesar learn Faint Attack? No. Caesar should not learn Faint Attack, because Caesar's attack stat is garbage. This will not one-shot. There's a 0% chance of that, because we're intimidated and it's not super effective. Yeah, that did absolute nothing. Alright. My team is slow. Look at, look at these Pokemon on the field. I have slow and slower on the field currently. I've got slow spider and slow little rock dinosaur man. Oh, but this Hurtier is slower than my Araquanid? Well, that's surprising me. I, I guess I didn't pick that up. Oh, it's slower than everything? Did something happen? What happened to your family, Hurtier? How did you grow up to be so slow? Oh, Caroline's evolving this episode. 100% Caroline's evolving this episode. 
If Caroline doesn't evolve this episode, don't take it out on me. Actually, do I just have three rare candies? I might just have three rare candies. No, do not learn Fury Attack at level 33? Game Freak, what's wrong with you? That's upsetting. Oliver is trying to learn Fury Attack at level 33? Maybe if it was Fury Grass Blast, I don't understand, but Oliver is trying to learn legitimate Fury Attack at level 33. So this is not the way we're supposed to be going, right? I mean, it's definitely not. It is 100% not where we're supposed to be. All right. Well, I think I'm just gonna make it to Route 10 then. I'll I'll turn I'll turn tail. I'll turn tail and turn around, and then we'll get to Route 10, and maybe we'll get to the start of the challenge. That sounds like that sounds like a plan. We'll probably need to come back to Route 11 on some other time. You see, this Trumbeak knows Fury Attack, and also probably has Skill Link. So I'm getting hit by all five 100%. No, oh, you don't have Skill Link. You suck. You suck, Trumbeak. Oh my god, that did so much more damage than the last one. Is that what happens when you level up? Your damage increases exponentially? Rock Team's actually a pretty dope move. Like, uh, well, I didn't I didn't outspeed this time. I thought I, I thought it was gonna enable me to outspeed this Trumbeak, but it did not. Okay, so we just keep getting hit. You you don't have skill link, right? Or is Fury Attack only four times now? Like the odds of you hitting Two four chain like four hit fury attacks without having skill link are low. They're not high. Alright, do I have a I think I have I think I think I have two rare candies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Lemon up one more or not Lemon. Lemon just leveled up, that's why she's on my mind. A pretty little lady she is. I'm gonna get Caroline up one one more level, and then I'm gonna rare candy her up twice, because we need we need something. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center and heal, and then we will make our way to Route 10 and probably trigger Infinity Cutscenes. And this episode, well, instead of being the around 35 minutes that I like it to be, will be 47 and a half minutes, approximately. I'm calling it now. Place your bets for how long this episode's gonna be. Okay. Ba da 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 da. All right, uh, let's let's Tauros charge it. Let's Tauros charge it around around town. Nope, nope. I can't I can't do anything right ever. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Is this this is this is like the bicycle in this generation, right? The Tauros charge. I'm assuming this is supposed to be the equivalent of a bike in this generation. Oh, it looks like a Trogor. I have a favor of you to ask. Okay, what? Route 10 is long and wide and great, and Pokemon play a bit. My Stuffle's been getting much exercise. I love them balls, but haven't come back. This dude let his Pokemon out of his balls, and now it's our job to find them? I mean, I have eight lost Stuffle. You can't even carry that many on your person at one time. Why is this tree shaking? I'm upset by whatever's going on. Okay, it's a Trump beak. 100% of the time it's a Trump beak. Right? Oh, well, I was close. It's it's close enough to a Trumbeak, but... Uh... Sorry, someone opened the door and waved at me, and I'm not entirely sure who it was. Sure, who it was. That threw me off. Now I can't... Well, it's... Anyways, anyways. I, I digress. It's not a Trumbeak, it's a Fero. I guess these tree trees in this game can shake, and then Pokemon can pop down at you. There's a lot of that in this game. There's like the dust clouds. There's the the shaking grass spots that they chase you, and it's awful. Who's learning Crunch right now? Oh, Ivan. Oh, yeah. Let's uh. uh I don't want to get rid of Thief really because I feel like it's super useful. Oh no, Thief's a TM. We'll get rid of Thief. We'll get rid of Thief. 100%. That's fine. Because Crunch is just more power, which is what we should be doing in our lives. I was walking by the tree and a Pokemon landed on my right on my head. I don't know if you should call that luck or what. So, the my very first day of college, like my first day, not not like I went to a community college. Not I didn't go there, but I took dual credit classes when I was in high school. My first day at a legitimate university, like the University of Houston, is where I went. I was walking to find my class, and I took. I, I didn't know where to go, and I took some really, really long road, like, not, it wasn't a road, but like a path to get there, 
And I kid you not, on the way to class, a bird just pooped on me. Like, right on my, uh, my shoulder. And I was like, well, this is a sign of things to come. <laughs> My first day ended up being really good, other than the fact that I got pooped on by a bird. But can you just imagine being this, like, this kind of, like, oh, I wasn't that cool in high school, like, I'm, I'm having trouble adjusting to this, like, I'm kind of nervous, and then all of a sudden, a bird poops on you. And bird poop's super white, and I was wearing a black shirt, and it was not the easiest thing to, like, not the easiest stain, rather, to get out of the world, to get out of the world, to get out in the world. Did we just get... What, what was that an animation for? Body slam. Okay, well, that makes sense. Don't get paralyzed. Okay. Oliver, can you pull through? Can this be a one-shot? No. I don't know why I would ever expect you to one-shot anyone in your entire life, Oliver. I don't know. I just don't know. Trying to learn Fury Attack at level 33? Come on, Game Freak. Can we get a mode? Can we get a mode on Oliver's level up moveset? Can it be slightly better? Like, why haven't you learned Leaf Blade at this point? If you're some physical monster, why have you not learned Leaf Blade? That's my number one question right now. It's my number one concern. Alright, Caroline's evolving. Caroline's evolving right now. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch? I think I have two candies. If I don't have two candies, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Ba -ba -ba. Where would those be at? Rage candy bars. Oh, here we go. Here we go. How many? Three. I could have done it before. It's okay. 27? Want something to move false swipe? No, we just got rid of that on you. Alright. It's all happening. I'm gonna set my um set my 3DS down so I can watch this. I can watch this beautiful regional variant. Is the background always green in the evolution screen? I legitimately don't know. I feel like it's not. I've, I've evolved several. Yeah, it is. Never mind, because it switches to this color. Yo, it's happened. Caroline has evolved into a bigger Caroline with a fire bone. Are you gonna learn? You're not gonna learn Shadow Bone, are you? Because this game makes absolutely no sense. Please tell me that you're gonna learn Shadow Bone. Please, just, just do it. Oh, oh, I should have read it's, mm, I meant to read, nope, you're not gonna learn anything. Okay, cool, well, looks like I'll be heart scaling some moves back on my Pokemon. Well, I think that this is an excellent time to end this episode, and not only time-wise, but also just someone opened the door to my office, and I should probably go find out who that is. But, uh, if you followed along with me this long, I just want to say thank you so much, and if you're enjoying what I'm doing here, please just go ahead and demolish that like button. We are back with regular uploads, I'm gonna be, sort of like this weekend, I'm gonna be uploading like a frenzy of things, and then after that I'm gonna revert to my normal upload schedule next week. So, uh, just, you know, if you are enjoying this, demolish that like button. If you're kind of new here, or you're just lurking around, please just go ahead and click that subscribe button, because realistically, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see my face a little bit more, and let's be serious, that's a great thing. And that being said, I'm kind of done here, and I kind of leave. Bye. <laughs>